Hi, I'm Gary Allen Smith, a retired software engineering manager and artist, and I would like to tell you about my latest art project. For some time now, I have been working on a long-term kinetic art project I am calling the Marble Camera. The Marble Camera is a physical rolling marble sculpture which recreates a photograph by presenting columns of colored marbles that act like pixels in the image. After a suitable viewing time, the marble camera releases the marbles back into the system. In this video, I am presenting a non-rendered animation of the marble camera's color sorting module. The sorting module resorts the marbles into their colored bins after they are released from the picture. The simulation is being created in Blender, an open source 3D modeling application. It provides CAD creation of the sculpture itself and allows animation and simulation of the physical interaction of the marbles with gravity. The image you are viewing on the left is a fully rendered version of the sculpture. On the right is a non-rendered version. These are screen captures from the Blender software. The full video, which you will see at the end of my explanation, is the non-rendered version. It takes about 10 days to render on my Mac the rendered version, but only an hour or so to produce the non-rendered video. So I'm holding off generating the rendered video until the design is more complete and stable. The sculpture consists of several structures positioned vertically above one another. I've been working on this project for about four months. The topmost component of the sculpture's color module consists of a transparent hopper. It sits on top of a distribution platform that jiggles the marbles to assist their passage through the scalloped holes at the base of the hopper. Every time the hopper hops up and down, marbles are released into the radial channel runs. A transparent cover sits over the channel runs to keep the marbles from bouncing out of their channel. Note that the transparent pieces of the sculpture appear as opaque white in the non-rendered version. So in that version, I have turned off the visibility of the channel cover so you can better see the marbles in their runs. Even though invisible, the cover is still taken into account by the Blender simulation software. At the end of each channel run is a marble capture color sensor, which determines whether the marble matches the color of the collection tube over which it is sitting. After all the sensors are filled with marbles, if any sensor sees a match, the sensor rotates to drop the marble into the collection tube funnel. Then the entire color sensing ring rotates to the next color position. New marbles from the channel runs fill the empty sensors. The process then repeats until all marbles have been sorted. A marble release band oscillates back and forth in sync with the stepped sensor rotation to release the marbles. The current version of the Marble Camera Color Sort Module has 18 channel runs and is set up to sort six colors at a time. Thus, the marble collection tubes are triplicated. Three tubes, evenly spaced at 120 degrees, collect marbles of the same color. One design issue discovered during development was that whenever you have two or more converging tubes or runs of marbles, they consistently jam. To get around this problem, I developed a collection hub with no moving parts. It has a cavity with angled inflow tubes. Gravity creates a circular rotation of the marbles as they enter and some asymmetrical counter rotation contouring on the inside guarantees one marble will always be favored to fall out of the jam. Where you can, here you can see a version of the collection hub being stress tested with large quantities of marbles. One of the current limitations of the Blender physics engine is a lack of logical constraints. There is no way to make the sensor object sense the color of the marble it is holding or to know which collection tube it is positioned over. However, objects in the physics simulation can be hand animated. The actual movements of the sensors have been animated in order to provide a realistic animation, a random simulation of the release of marbles from the 18 channel runs was created in a spreadsheet. 
Here's a quick view of the two spreadsheets used to simulate the marbles. The first sheet randomizes the marble matches by channel, and the second sheet reorganizes the matches by sensor. The green and orange cells contain the marble matches. What makes all this work is that Blender physics simulation is determinate. By that I mean once the physical properties are fixed, the simulation runs exactly the same each time. If any objects are moved or one marble is out of place, even slightly, a completely different marble pattern gets generated based on the whims of gravity. Of course, the spreadsheets only work for the continuous feeding of marbles. As the sorting activity nears the end, individual channel runs become empty. This is based on the physics of the marble movements and is independent from the animated matching. Toward the end, the channel runs end up with empty spaces as the marbles run out. Those spaces don't match up with the spreadsheet randomization, so a cleanup hand animation is required to match the actual configuration of marbles in the runs at the end. A trick that gets the right colored marbles into the correct bins is that the matching animation is done with all the marbles colored the same. After the animating is complete, and the configuration is stable, a run is done until all the marbles are in the collection bins. Then all the marbles in each bin are given the correct color attribute for that bin. This does not change the determinate nature of the physics, and thus a final rerun of the simulation produces the desired sort effect. I hope you found my description of the project enjoyable and enlightening. Now here's the final rendered animation of the Marble Camera's sort module. Enjoy.
Thank you.